Here's an example involving sales tax. The sales tax rate in a certain state is 6.5%. You purchase a computer for $900, how much sales tax do you pay? Well, you have to pay 6.5% of this total amount. So I'm going to think of the problem like this. 6.5% of 900. And remember that of means times. So this is 6.5%, which is 6.5 hundredths times 900. And that will be my answer. And the 6.5 hundredths could be written like this, 0 0.065. So it's 0 0.065 times 900. And that comes out to 58.5. And that's dollars. That's $58.50. That's the tax you would pay on a $900 purchase if you were paying a 6.5% sales tax rate. This example involves paying a tip at a restaurant. If you um, go to a restaurant and eat, you typically add a little bit extra to the cost of your meal that goes to the waiter, and especially if they've given you good service. And in this case, the restaurant automatically adds a 15% gratuity, which just means tip, to your bill. And if the gratuity is $19, then what is the original cost of the meal? I'm going to set this one up with a percent proportion where I think about what is the amount, the base, and the rate. And the amount in this case is $19. That's what we, the tip that we paid, $19. That's a certain percentage, 15% is my rate. And the $19 is a certain percentage of this total that we call the base, B. So I'll set up, the, set up the proportion. A over B equals the rate over 100. So 19 over B, and B is what I'm looking for, is equal to 15 over 100. And then I'll cross multiply. And I get 15B equals 19 times 100. And I'll go ahead and do that in my head mentally and write down 1900. So 15B equals 1900 and then divide both sides by 15. And the 15 cancels out on the left and I have B. B is 1900 divided by 15. And that comes out to 126 and 67. 126 dollars and 67 cents. Pretty expensive meal um, but that could perhaps be for a lot of people. This example is a pay raise calculation. You have a business of some kind and a bunch of employees and one of your employees earns $40,000 per year and they've done a good job that year so you decide to give them a pay raise of 8%. What will the new salary be? So it's going to be 8% larger than the original $40,000. So we need, we need to calculate the amount of the raise and that will be 8% of $40,000. And that's pretty easy to do. Just remember of means times. And so we calculate 8%, that's 0 0.08 times 40,000. And that comes out to 3,200. So they get a raise of 3,200. So their final salary is 3,200 more than their original 40,000. So it's 40,000 plus 3,200 and you can do that in your head $43,200 is the new salary. And here's an example involving a price discount. A car is priced at $17,000 and the people selling the car don't like it sitting around they want to go ahead and sell it so they're willing to reduce the price to go ahead and get the sale and in this case they reduce the price by five percent what is the size of the price reduction so we just want to know the size of the price reduction well that will be five percent of the original price so I calculate five percent of seventeen thousand so it, I just multiplied 0.05 
times 17,000 and that comes out to 850 so the price is reduced by $850 now we weren't asked to find the new price but that's useful to, useful to know so let's go ahead and calculate 17,000 minus 850 the new price is $16,150 and um, at that price it's more likely to sell just be aware though that this right here the 850 is the answer to the question because we were asked what is the size of the price reduction and that's that